Discord Degenerates Podcast. We make your eardrums splurge. You filthy fucking virgins. Discord Degenerates Podcast. Okay, welcome back to the Discord Degenerates Podcast. I'm Dr. Meth. I've got my co-host Dita West and Toby right here also. Uh, this is episode... Uh, I actually have no fucking idea. Uh, anyways, today uh, I wanted to discuss the Epstein client list, which was recently released. Uh, Toby I have it here. Okay, okay. Toby, Toby's looking it up right here. Uh, let's react live, and then we can see if there are any interesting people who we uh, know good. about. I'm, and uh, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Like, what? On. Speak up, bitch. It's taking fucking too long. Hold on. Okay, 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 okay. Down. Uh, the list starts here. Okay, so there's Gislaine Maxwell, which yeah, is no very surprise much, there. Not, not a surprise. Yeah. Prince Andrew, the second mm-hmm. son of Queen Elizabeth. Uh, yeah, was an established convicted. pedophile. Yeah. yeah, already. Uh, Bill Clinton, former U.S. president, mm-hmm. most no definitely. Surprise. Yep. Donald Trump. Yep. yep. Donald Trump is in there. Yeah, Donald Trump is on there. He knew Epstein very well. He was uh, actually like probably best friends with Epstein. Or something. Yeah, and it's ironic because his yeah. thing is exposing the fucking system for its pedophiles and whatever, exposing the Democrats and. No, 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 no. He's... You're wrong with the my man Donald Trump. He's a real when he says shit like I use the system. So he's saying I'm a pedophile, but I ain't dying. And you're all going with me, motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, it was it was fine when he was talking about tax fraud or whatever. But now that he's apparently yeah. a Wait a minute. molester, I, uh, I don't respect him anymore. Uh, sorry to say. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, we need to see some shit in detail. For example, Donald Trump, it says, the court document briefly mentions the name of the former U.S. President Donald Trump, who socialized with Epstein, but is not accused of misconduct. Yeah, that's Also with that's Stephen that's Hawking, so who's a famous one, who's trending right now, there is something in the nuances of that situation as well. Uh, it's not explicitly mentioned, and his name is misspelled. It says, the new records... A sing, uh, their new records include a single reference to the late theoretical physicist Stephen Hawking. His name appears misspelled in an email. In an email, Epstein sent proposing a reward to be paid to anyone who could debunk a baseless claim that Hawking had participated in an underage orgy. So his name was not in the ones who were visiting the island, but instead to clear his name. Okay, fair enough. But I think it's uh, funnier if we just pretend that they were pedophiles. Okay, can I? Continue? I don't really care that much. Either way, ah, that makes sense. Continue down the list. So there's David Copperfield, who's David a Copperfield, famous, yeah. famous magician. Yeah. John Connolly, nobody knows him. Wait, that okay, is. David Copperfield is actually a that's a wild one. It's not really a wild one, is it? It, it kinda is. I didn't expect that. Okay, okay. He's a he's a child molester. Hold on. Yeah, definitely. David Copperfield. Yeah, fair enough. John Connolly. Nobody yeah, knows who that is Alan. Dick. Leonardo DiCaprio is on there as well. Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah. I mean, Obviously, he fucks, he fucks he fucks. Yeah, I know, I know, but that's, that, that's amazing. Finally, there's something to actually pinpoint on him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty, I'm, I'm not sure about Donald Trump being a, a pedophile, but Leonardo DiCaprio, that man didn't go low. We thought that he didn't go below 18 because of the law. Nah, man, he did. That bro be here in fucking seven years old with no fucking. So feet. fucking soft about that. Finally, I hated DiCaprio because all his girlfriends were whatever fucking 50 years younger than him. I don't know. But, you know, he, he was never really... He could always defend himself. They're over 18. Uh, fucking 22, I, whatever. I, Finally, I can actually yeah. call him a pedophile and it's not baseless. Go, you know, I, hate, I, I hated Leonardo DiCaprio because I thought that he was overrated. He doesn't even look that good. He looks like someone just punched his face together into a box. Mm, and he's I don't know why the fuck people... I don't know why... Pe- what a, what a, wait a minute, what the fuck? Oh, no, no, this is the next article. I thought that Muhammad Mizuzu was also over there. That's Maldives president. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's just... <laughs> nah, he's just visiting India. Okay, okay. Okay. Who the fuck cares? Al, uh, Al Gore. Al Gore? <laughs> Stephen Hawking, obviously. Yeah. Uh, former Israeli Prime Minister Ehud Barak. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's no surprise. That's no surprise. Yeah, he's Israeli. You know, uh, Michael yeah, not, you know, uh, them Israelis and the Muslim leaders, they're, they're trying to be closer to the prophets, fucking nine-year-olds and shit, you know? Yeah, uh, Prophet Muhammad was yeah. wild. He was getting around Yo. the daycare center. Not, Kevin, Spence, you know, his first, his first wife was fucking nine years old. <laughs> Wait, hold on. George Lucas. Hold on, hold on. What? Hold on, scroll, scroll up. So Michael Jackson, obviously, well, there's some, there's always been rumors about him being a pedophile, hanging out with kids and all that, but... 
also that was there's also some motherfuckers always debunking that saying you know there's no proof he was just friends with the kids this this means something finally we have proof then we got kevin spacey who is uh beloved also already a convicted sex offender so really no surprise there george lucas, george lucas. oh my who fuck. is george lucas <laughs> that's oh, devastating that is genuine. who's that is the creator of star wars bro and indiana Jones. Yeah, also in the oh, that... Yeah. What'd you say? <laughs> uh, What'd you say? Oh, uh, no, I didn't say nothing. Oh, okay. okay. Was that, that's uh, but... God. Kate Blanchett! By the way... Kate Blanchett! <laughs> Kate Blanchett! Who's that? <laughs> Kate Blanchett! <laughs> it's an actress. She played the uh, elven woman in The Lord of the Rings and other stuff, I'm pretty sure. Um, I've not seen yeah. that, bro. I ain't seen Lord of the Rings. She's kind of a big deal, and I think, like, a fucking activist or whatever. I think she was diddling kids. I, I guess she was diddling kids then. Okay. Was she in Thor Ragnarok? Apparently. I don't know. I don't shouldn't say it. Anyway. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, um, Will is Will Smith in it? Come on, Bruce man. Willis! Bruce Willis! Come on, man. Bruce Willis is in it, bro. What the fuck? Yes, Bruce yeah, Willis is on there. Bruce Willis. See, even fuck? you know him. He's one of the five Hollywood actors that you know, and he's on there. I was sad when he bro, what the in the main show or whatever. Now he's about to die. That's just, just fucking weird for him to be on there. Yeah, I guess this he's a diehard actor. How the fuck can anyone forget him? I don't okay. know, but he is forgetting everyone else because he's he's got dementia. Uh, uh, maybe the CIA <laughs> it. gave it to him so he wouldn't blab about his involvement. Cameron Diaz. Cameron Diaz. Okay, that bitch. That, Who's that? She's like a fucking activist, right? Like a women's rights activist. Activist. I what I hate. Cameron Diaz activism. Let's see. AIDS activist. Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, no. Well, so. you know those women activists. They do be saying shit like we support LGBT. Love is love. Yo. She really proved that out there. Love is love, beat with a mind. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, okay, okay. We got, we got off the celebrities on this list. Sarah Ferguson, who's the wife of Prince Andrew. This was very not surprised. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Surprising. Robert F. Kennedy. Uh, is Sarah Ferguson in any way or manner related to Tony Ferguson, the MMA fighter? Uh, no, I don't think so. It's uh, ah. quite a common surname. But Robert F. Kennedy is on there, that fucking <laughs> lizard. Sex trafficker, Ron Eppinger. <laughs> okay. Any former. Proves the credibility of the list, at least. None of these, none of these people are relevant. Yeah. There's going to be some. Is Demi Moore on there? Sorry, what you say? Demi Moore. Moore. Demi Moore. What, the, what the oh, fuck is that? No, Demi Moore. Demi Moore. Uh, she is she on there? She was yeah. In at least for, for now. But, oh, maybe she's there later. Hold on. Yeah, no, no, these are just irrelevant people. Yeah, maybe. Oh, no, I might recognize some of them. Detective Joe. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Joe character. Is my man Joe on there? Joe Biden? Is Joe Biden on there? Uh, don't look it up. I'm trying to look it up. Let's yeah, we're know. going in order. Hold on. Yeah, but no, all no, these people are, are irrelevant. irrelevant man. Sharon White, that's kind of a. Dr. Wawa. Dr. Wawa. <laughs> I mean, that's a child. That's a baby. With a name like that. Dr. Wah Wah. Jeffrey Epstein. Okay, that's a surprise. <laughs> hey, would that. you guess? Would you guess? Jeffrey Epstein is on the list. The New York player, Jeffrey Epstein. That's a shocker. Yo, yo. I could never think that he would go on his own <laughs> island. Imagine how fucking unrelated could that be? Yeah, I know, right? Oh, he's Epstein. a he's a businessman, right? He he would never do something like that. He's just a. That wasn't the full. Bro, what the fuck? I feel like there, there are way too many irrelevant people. Did you say Demi Moore? We didn't see her on the list. Demi. Oh no, I, I asked about her because uh, I was surfing. Uh, shit about uh, what's the guy's name? Fuck, I forget it. Uh, Bru Bruce, Bruce yeah, Willis, whatever the fuck no, he's the, called, about his list. dementia. And under there, they showed mm -hmm. it. They showed recent related searches. And they showed Demi Moore in related searches. Oh, so yeah. like, is she on there uh, as well? She wasn't on the list. Though. It was just Google tripping. Is there any connection? Uh, Bruce Willis, Demi Moore. I'm googling this. Uh, well, I guess they've met. Oh, they were together. Yeah, y yeah. They she... were married for a while. If they met, obviously they were together, bro. What the fuck you mean? I had no idea. I don't keep up with celebrity oh, relationship Campbell. drama. We didn't know that. Oh, you meant but... they were in a relationship yeah, model? Yeah, I didn't know that. Naomi Campbell. Yeah, Naomi he's a very Campbell. famous model. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, that's the list, I guess. No. Uh, I'd like to ask another question related to this risk list, whatever the fuck it's called. Uh, are we just going to assume that every single person mentioned on that list is a sexual offender? Because I don't think that Stephen Hawking is one. Mm, well, yeah. I mean, was <laughs> he on that list? Uh, yeah, he was on this list. Yeah. The reason I say that he should not be on that list is because I think that he was uh, instead into crazy chicks instead, you know, a sh- shit like a woman who beat him. He ran away with his own nurse uh, from a loving family who supported him. If he liked midgets, I see no reason for him to divorce his wife, lose a shit ton of his money, and become publicly defaced just to go live with another normal woman. You know what I'm saying? Well, if but he liked he women who a... beat him, then he would fold like a lawn chair and shatter like a glass of wine. He's fragile. I meant that he like. I meant that he le- fell in love with his uh, nurse, and she was psychotic. Yeah, fair enough, but she was a completely normal-looking woman. Uh, she was she was of normal height. She was just any normal woman that you find uh, anywhere in the street. All you of know these what I'm people saying? are in relationships, but that doesn't mean shit. And you said that he wouldn't. No, 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 no. You said, you said he wouldn't thing. decrease his image, but you could say that for any of these child molesters. I yeah. mean, wait a minute, wait, bro, bro. Stephen Hawking is fucking paralyzed. What the fuck are you gonna do by watching midgets? A edge to it? I ain't even sure if his pee pee works. Well, he can still have kids diddle it, and he can watch them do the other pedophiles do all kinds of wild. Okay. Stuff. Of course, he can be a sex offender. Being paralyzed never stopped a Another thing was, thing was about being in a relationship. Hello? Yeah. Hello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear Thank you. you. I can't. Yeah, I was saying that it is it is not about being in a relationship. It is about destroying an amazing pre-existing relationship, which was completely to his benefit. He had a loving family. He had fame. He had money. He had to divorce his wife, lose a lot of money, lose a lot of fame, uh, become disgraced just for another completely normal woman. I don't see the point in doing that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. You're talking about the relationship. Okay, fair enough. Still, yeah, I don't see why he would have an affair with his owners, which would cost him his dignity, his money, his family, his moral support and all that shit, you know, Uh, just to fucking watch midgets have sex. He's a pedophile. I don't think he cares. If if he's a you know if he's a multimillionaire who can afford to fly in these islands and secretly have sex with kids, if he's a deranged fucking pedophile, then of course he's gonna. But, I don't think. I mean, but to be fair, uh, Stephen Hawking was stuck in a chair for the most of his life. I'm pretty sure that he was pretty fucking messed up into his head. So mm. yeah, maybe he was a pedophile. Maybe he liked fuck- watching two girls, one cup, third edition, not third edition, midget edition. Yeah, well, either way, it makes for some funny memes. So, oh, so I think uh, Stephen thing. Hawking does. Ah, joke. there's another thing that I would like to discuss about these memes is that I feel like there's also an agenda being pushed here. Uh, you know, I'm um, some Joe Rogan kind of uh, guys. Shit, like if the government gives me a hundred dollars, I'll think that it's fucking infested by Ebola or some shit. Uh, so basically, <laughs> what I was. What I was saying was, uh, I was scrolling Instagram and some people were saying, why are there only Stephen Hawking memes? The creator of the said memes uh, posted a reply below that and said, I posted two Bill Clinton and one of that Prince guy's memes and I got shadow banned for four days. You can still go and look at them and they have almost nil views compared to these ones. I went down his account and saw that all of the Stephen Hawking memes had just like 200,000 views, 300,000 views. The Bill Clinton one had 2,000 views. So I feel like they're uh, trying to fucking tone it down for those ones as well. It's them liberals and their propaganda. I ain't saying that it's the liberals. I'm saying that it's the fucking deep state, son. They'll be mulling up a cow. Oh and God, she... this, this is fucking strong. Hold up. <coughs> oh, God. Oh. You in a gas leak or some shit? I'm day drinking. Hold on. <laughs> More coke. We should we should try to get a book to sponsor us and Captain Morgan. Yeah, that's a realistic fucking goal. Okay. Anything else going on other than the Epstein? Yeah, I'd I'd like to ask some shit. He's quitting. Uh, Britney Spears. What the fuck? He's quitting music. Like good. That's amazing. I've been waiting for <laughs> my whole life. Who's Britney Spears? What the fuck? Uh, one of these clone pop singers, you know, 
like uh, Taylor Swift. Ah, you know, she's the same person as all these other I've, I've, pop. You know, I've only listened to one fucking pop player, sorry, pop singers till date, and that's Ariana Grande. I used to think that she was hot as fuck, and then I grew up and uh, realized that bitch flatter than a man. If I like mm. her, I'm a fucking pedophile, and I stopped listening to her. Facts. But Ariana Grande, Taylor Swift, Britney Spears, these are all the same person, but cloned into different bodies. Oh. I don't uh, understandable. I just listen to shit like uh, rock and fucking Finnish songs now. There's th- shit like <laughs> Pohyola and shit. No, I'll be nice. fucking going out to the Finnish embassy going shit like Pohyola. And, uh, whatever the fuck that <laughs> song goes like, motherfucker. No, I could uh, try Indian music, but I, from my experience, it's it's not as enjoyable. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, it isn't. Uh, no, no I, I understand. It's Indian music, most of it is Uh, how do I fucking explain it? South Indian music is fucking weird. I never got it. Hindi music, for the most part, is just shit like. I, I've I've got to go offline for one minute. I'll be online in one. I right? okay. Okay, we'll take a break right here to shout out our sponsor for this episode, Lolita Airlines. I don't really know what that is, but uh, check them out. Use code Degenerates. At checkout for a 50% discount on cheese pizza, apparently, if I'm reading this correctly. Anyways, let's get back to it. I've already booked for a residency in the United States or in observership, which basically means whether I come to Finland or not, I will do I will go to the US for about one month to see how the doctors work there. And basically I've already talked about this and I'm already fucking decided to prepare for the USMLE uh, if Finland does not work out. So oh, yeah, I'm either moving to the U.S. or Finland, motherfucker. I'm staying in India. How retarded do you have to be to move to the United States? That's cringe. Bro, how, bro, bro, would you rather move to the United States or even a family that fucking, uh, I don't know, won't let you do as you wish? If I live in India, so I many other options. with my parents. So many other options. Yeah, it's, it's hard to move to North else. Korea than the United States. You're, you're, acting, you're just acting fucking retarded right now. First of all, America, the fucking economic bubble is not the, as bad over there. Not all of America is bad. Texas is pretty chill. It ain't like I'm going to fucking go in schools or some shit. Yeah, I'm not carrying you out. Fuck. fuck that shit. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Five underage people shot a weed delivery driver. Ah. <sighs> He was a hero. Shot and killed. That's tragic. He was a hero. He was a hero. Delivery driver. Mm-hmm. Spreading joy and kindness and health to the people. And he was murdered for nothing. Shut down. Who? For being a uh, for being an absolute hero, in my opinion. A legend. Wait a minute, what the fuck is this shit? Let me see this. He was persecuted for his religion. Oh, babe, Ryan, or some shit. <laughs> like, for real. <laughs> Kobe Bryant is the basketball player who died in the... <laughs> We have one hmm? listener, one active listener. My friends have also listened to it, three of them. That's nice. Fuck, well, yeah, yeah. we have, like, seven views. I thought I thought they were people who were actually interested in not fucking nepotism. That sucks. No, they were all my friends. I am a I am a very regular user of nepotism. I am the most nepotized person in the world. I I literally got my job because of nepotism. I also got what What does nepotism mean? Uh, how do you explain it? Uh, you know, if if uh, if King, what is it, King? What's the current king of the UK? What's his name? Uh, fucking Charles. If, Charles. If king Charles. King Charles appoints like his friend or his nephew or his cousin's cat as the queen of the United Kingdom. That's nepotism. You're if you're giving if you're uh, in a position of power and you're oh basically abusing your power to give your position to someone incompetent to favor yeah. someone that But, is close to you. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it exactly. You're giving. Oh yeah. You, so basically, India runs on nepotism. You wouldn't fucking survive here if not for nepotism. Yeah, that's because of your your very strong family culture and your familial values. I kind of get that. It's not. Yeah, a, it's fucking shit in the West. It's fucking shit, you know. It it sucks. Yeah, I guess so. Positions of power should always be acquired through competence, 
and skill but yeah, as your nah, but that that's never happened in india mm-hmm. i've never seen it happen even once i see i see yeah. Yeah, exactly. so uh are we recording again now yeah the whole time i'm just cutting out everything that's not convenient for the podcast mm. Hold on. Fuck, you know, Indian, st- Indian food fucking slaps. Finnish food ain't got shit on Indian food. I agree. Finnish food is... When I say Indian food, when I say Indian food, I mean Punjabi food. You all yeah. probably got food that is much better than the Gujarati cuisine. That's just fucking shit. I'd rather die than eat it. Yeah, from what I know, it's pretty much go to throw up. What I've seen. Yeah. Punjabi it's, food seems, uh, seems good. No, no, Indian food is also good. Yeah, I guess a tikka masala. Punjabi food. Tikka masala yeah. is fucking British, my guy. Yeah, that is Punjabi food. Yeah, Indian food. That is, is not British. Indian food. That is Punjabi food. Tikka masala. Let's see. That is all Punjabi food. Yeah. What it's not fuck? fucking British. Yeah, you... it was invented in Britain. No, it wasn't. What? It has fucking tikka masala in it. Masala is an no, Indian it's word. It's a British masala national dish because Britain was colonizing India. No, no, no. Look, look what it says. Uh, it was invented originally in the 1970s in Glasgow. That is because of the colonization. It's an Indian food oh, through and through. It's a, it's an Indian food through and through. It's a Punjabi food, apparently. Yes. Listen to the expert. Mm-hmm. But yeah, Finnish Wait food on average is pretty terrible because most of our food culture was created in times of poverty and war and all that and it's uh horrible yeah it's like shit. We, we had to make do we had to make do so we make soup out of tree sap and whatever that's most of our dishes but no. some of it is actually uh is bread out of wood wait a minute wait a minute let me just clarify something let me clarify what makes chicken tikka in indian food i chicken tikka masala whatever the fuck that's called you know what makes it in indian food, food? Yeah. It's, it's probably the spice isn't it Yeah, the word masala, that's a Punjabi word. That's an Indian word. It means spices. And above that, chicken tikka masala, it requires a tarka. Tarka is something that is not found in European dishes. It is found in almost all of the Indian dishes. A tarka is basically uh, throwing some uh, uh, some fucking I don't know, shit, oil in the pan and then uh, boiling it. And, and basically sorting fucking tomatoes and spices and onions in it. I cut uh, chopped onions in it. And yeah. then you add the fucking things to it. That is the base of Indian cooking. No European co- uh, sh- shit has it. The reason Indian food is so flavor- favorable is due to the tarka. If you take out the tarka, then the Indian food is fucking bland as fuck. Basically Finnish food. Our food is all was also made in times of poverty. You know, Punjabi food. Fucking sag. You know what sag is? Sag is basically fucking boiled leaves. You just take okay. leaves, boil them, and fucking mash them, and then eat that shit. Sounds great. Do you think yeah. that? Only... In, sorry, do you think that Indian food that is served in uh, Indian restaurants in the West and all that? Do you think it accurately? That's all fake. That? That's all fake. Yeah. That's all fake. That's all fake. I've eaten that shit. That shit sweet as fuck. The reason for that is okay. most of the Indians in the West who are fucking rich and eat over there, they are Gujaratis. Gujarat is their cuisine is fucking shit. It's so fucking sweet. I want to kill myself. Those motherfuckers add fucking sugar to fucking paneer. Make me want to fucking, I don't know, shit. Mm. I fucking massacre everyone over there. Fucking give them back shots. Is Impregnate them to fucking Gujarati? purify their impure bloodline. Why is every Gujarati person's uh, last name fucking Patel? <laughs> Fuck the fucking motherfuckers. You know how they're fucking mocked in India? Let me just tell you something. You know the Prime Minister of India? No, I'm not familiar. Narendra Modi. Narendra Modi. He is from Gujarat. Mm. He once came to India and uh, our and our chief minister, which basically means head of the state of Punjab, uh, he, he asked Narendra Modi for some goats from some Gujarati cows. Sorry, not for goats, for some Gujarati cows. And Narendra, Narendra Modi gifted them to him. And basically what happened was, and then, then our chief minister praised those cows. He said, those cows are so good. They are so tame. Even if I try to beat them, they do not react. That is basically this on the Gujaratis. The Gujaratis are mocked as fucking cowards. They are told that they are fucking, uh, even fucking more cowardly than pigeons. <laughs> they, are the mo- they are the most mocked race in India, you know? 
Mm. Because they have almost no no contributions in wars. They have the lowest representation in the army. They are extremely business minded. They are not philanthropists. Uh, they just look out for their own fucking personal gain. Basically, they their culture Jews. is just shit. Like, yeah, basically they're the goblins of India. Yeah, the Jews. Also, 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 the first Jews that landed in India landed in Gujarat. So Gujaratis have a strong fucking tie with the Jews. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah, a lot of the uh, many Jews used to live in Gujarat before the state of Israel was created. Oh, I had no fucking idea. Yeah, that happened. Who teaches that shit? Ah, <laughs> uh, well, it's just fucking so. It's just fucking Indian history. Even I'm not interested in in in, in Indian history. I'd much rather learn about World War Two. That's much more fucking interesting. Yeah, I guess so. Do you have any is... any part in World War Two? Uh, a lot, a lot. Our part is mis is underrepresented. You know, yeah. we supplied a shit ton of soldiers to the British. Uh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A shit ton. That's I. I knew yeah. that much, but yeah, not much further. Ah, <laughs> uh, India is the base on which the British Empire was fucking constructed. India had the twenty-five percent of the world's GDP when Britain came to India. Ah, uh, also, I would like to ask another question: Why the fuck is cursive dying? Cursive English looks so fucking sick. Why the fuck is it being replaced by bl- block writing? That looks it's fucking useless. ugly, and it's fucking it's slow to write. What's the point of cursive? It isn't useless. It's it. No, 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 no. Cursive is better than fucking writing in block. First mm-hmm. of all, whenever you write in block, uh, a lot of the times you're more uh, liable to making spelling mistakes. In cursive, it's more like a muscle memory. You're like, nah, bro, this word doesn't connect correctly. I've got to write it differently. In cursive, it's much better. Cursive also looks much fucking cooler. It uh, it takes lesser time to write. Cursive, I can't think of a single fucking reason to fucking stop writing in cursive. I can think of plenty. You know, in in Finland, uh, just a couple, uh, just a few years ago, well, it's been like six years, or we still had to. Uh, it was mandatory in school that we had to learn first the regular alphabet and then uh, cursive. Uh, very early on, so I, I think that was kind of ass because why would we have to learn two, uh, you know, separate alphabets of the same? Language? Those alphabets are, yeah, that's kind of like your fault. You know, uh, the thing about cursive in India, it was that we were first taught the ordinary alphabet. Okay, and when we entered the first standard, they taught us the cursive alphabet. The cursive alphabet was never too different uh, from the written alphabet. When you say the cursive alphabet, you might mean the calligraphy alphabet with all those fucking loops and shit, right? Right? Mm, I guess so. I know how to write like that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so basically, when I say cursive, I don't mean that fucking loopy and all that fucking fancy ass shit. Okay. When I say cursive, I mean the letters that are slightly tilted and written in freehand and are connected. Yeah, well, they the have some loops, but they are still. What's the point of learning they are two not, separate writing styles? I wait a minute. Wait a minute. First of all, it looks fucking cool. Okay. Fucking block writing looks dumb as fuck. If you write like that, I'm automatically assuming that you have Down syndrome. All right. <laughs> and then number two, it's faster to write that way. Faster. Okay. Okay. All right. I guess it's much fucking faster. Yeah. yeah. Number three. Yeah, number three. Uh, it's the, it saves more space. When you write in fucking block, you have to uh, give more space among the letters. When you write in cursive, you don't have to give that amount of space. Writing in cursive is much more efficient, paper-wise as well. Uh, number four, it makes learning spellings much fucking easier. When you write in cursive, uh, in the beginning it's kind of hard, but over time it becomes your muscle memory. When you write some word and you spell it wrong, you're like, nah, bro, this this isn't connecting properly. This seems fucking wrong. That doesn't happen in block writing. Mm, no, of sure. course, cursive has some of some disadvantages as well. It is fucking hard as fuck to write while mm. standing. Block writing is easier in those situations. Cursive is kind of hard to understand uh, if it is written by some dumb fuck. Uh, block is easier to understand in that aspect. But you know what I'm saying? Cursive looks dope as fuck. That's all the reason we need to fucking learn it. I have a question about the Indian writing system. <laughs> yeah, sure. For instance, Which one? In Punjabi. Uh, if yeah. You, if you're writing the characters, since they're all connected by like that line on the top, do you first draw the line? Yeah, yeah, they are. And then the characters, or do? I you... know. Uh, uh, look, it depends. Uh, cause listen, some of the characters don't have the line on them. There is a character when you put the line on it, it becomes the S sound, S. And when you do not put the line on it, it becomes the M sound, M. Right. On another character, when you put the line, it becomes T. When you cut the line and there is no line on top, it becomes k. Basically, the line uh, works as an excellent thing because it acts as a connector. Wherever there's a line, you can say this is a, a word. After this, this is the next word. The line is a super useful thing, but it takes a lot of time to draw if you are fucking novice. Uh, when you're writing in print, right? 
then you draw the line for the individual letter then you write the letter and then you draw the entire line right it's kind of like on your fucking senses or some shit when you write in uh uh when you write uh, those as is you don't fucking draw the line uh, differently a lot of the times you just write the correct and then draw the line on top but usually you don't even need to draw the line it just comes as is yeah. uh i'll send you a screen recording all right so yeah. so it serves some other pur- yeah, but- purpose other than just being a connector so bro shut the fuck up it's a fucking language i don't know why the fuck they have it over there yeah no i'm saying you know it just but judging by what you're it, saying it, i, I it guess evolved. it serves some purpose other than just being a connector then that's that's cool that's the entire fucking reason for uh, second of all of our languages uh, they have matras for example your vowels they are entire fucking characters that are stand alone right yeah uh, so for example when you write when you write the sound when you write m a right you will read it as ma right yeah when we write m and then we attach the matra to the word we will read it as ma but if we write the stand alone version of the uh, character we will read it as ma a yeah. you know what i'm saying that it serves as a purpose that it makes it easier to read and makes it much more efficient yeah, that's it what makes I'm it saying. easier to attach the matra i'm saying that yeah. because... and the main thing the main thing is the connecting part yeah that line isn't very fucking integral uh, it looks fucking integral because uh, of the print version and the print version it is integral but let me just show you how it's written Okay. For example, if I want to write some dumb bash like uh what the fuck should I write? What the fuck do I write? Uh slurs. Hey, what should I write? Slurs. The n word. Uh let me write. The basic thing is the line is the line uh, does not take up much time when you get used to writing in Punjabi. The written version is quite fucking is not fucking different from the print version, but the line just kind of blends in. It is still fucking integral. It helps in this uh, differentiating a lot of characters, and it acts as a connector. The main thing is a connector. Yeah, but I've looked at that. A lot of the the native other languages than... uh, or alphabets have have parts that are absolutely fucking useless. That happens a lot. Even no, it's not useless. Uh, you know, it's kind of like asking why do all words correct in Arabic and have different forms. For example, if you want to write the k in the beginning, it will look different. If you write it in the end, it will look different. If you write it in the middle, it will look different. Of if course. you write it with another consonant, it looks different. You know, so they'll all look different. It's not useless. It makes it easier to read. It makes it faster to read. Yeah. It it is kind of hard hard in the beginning, but you you get used to it. Similar with this purpose, it helps as a connecting thing. It tells you where one word starts and where one word ends. you know i just send the fucking uh screen recording but it looks dumb as fuck because i don't know fuck uh it's fucking hard to write out here when it's fucking cold yeah, and it. on a phone with my fingers you have no the first right is it's cold. just a fucker you have no fucking right to say it's cold come here then then you'll see cold. bro <laughs> i'm out here in a fucking t-shirt shut the fuck up <laughs> okay fair enough Did you hear about Kanye apologizing to the Jews officially? Apolog- yeah, yeah, I heard about that shit. He did he did that shit in fucking Hebrew. He could speak Hebrew or and know that shit. Yeah, he did it entirely in he- Hebrew, which is shocking to me because I had no idea that he could write in English, let alone Hebrew. <laughs> maybe he used go- maybe he used Google that- Translate. Yeah, 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 I just think it's funny that he was, you know, supporting a genocide and you know, he didn't fuck with the Jews and then the Jews committed a genocide, so then he was cool with them. He had to wait for the Israeli uh, government to come in. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's just how my nigga rolls. Wait a minute, this shit is fucking dumb. So I'll just show you something that I wrote a few fucking days ago in a fucking diary or some shit. I don't remember. Probably something work related. Wait a minute. Bet. You go to work? Yeah, he works in a sweatshop. Who does? You do. by work i mean fucking studies motherfuckers okay <laughs> dumb ass niggas what <laughs> this bitch is fucking portal ah uh, wait a minute uh, where the fuck did i write that shit into something important ah uh, bang the lana sorry yeah yeah this this is written punjabi this look this is my writing because uh it's not written neatly but it's written in a way that i can understand it Mm-hmm. that's the most important thing yeah it's not that fucking bad to read uh just the end parts and some parts within when i was fucking wild and oh so you write it from like up to down what the fuck no i wrote it up to down because the screen was too fucking small <laughs> we write it left to right yeah this ain't mongolian or some shit <laughs>
I, I sent the photo. That's normal Punjabi, written Punjabi. Now, let me clear, clarify this. A lot of people can't write it because they're too fucking dumb. Looks beautiful. A lot of people. That looks absolutely yeah. beautiful. Glorious alphabet. Very good. Yeah, a lot of people can't write like this. I'll show you how how a lot of people write because they're so fucking dumb that they can't even fucking write their own language. They write in the print alphabet, you know, like how you all print fucking letters and in a block form and even fucking uglier. It looks like fucking hell. Let me just write two fucking words in that. Mm. It infuriates me that people can't write their own language. Where the fuck is a pen? I got a motherfucking pen in this house. It doesn't really happen here, to my knowledge. What? Doesn't really happen really? here, to my knowledge. A lot of people can't speak our language here, but they can write definitely. I mean, they can write it, but they can't write it in the Punjabi alphabet because they've never done it in their life, so they find it fucking hard to do. Yeah, true. You have yeah. It's a different situation for you, obviously. Because India. I'll explain it in a while. Wait a minute. <laughs> I have written, written in the block alphabet as beautiful as, as beautifully that uh, as I could, but it still looks fucking shit compared to the written version. Yeah. Wait a minute, let me write it. Do you guys think that Lego could make a sex toy? Uh, nah, bro. You want to dial some shit? Unless you you're planning to have a dick of steel. I think they could pull it off. Somebody has definitely shoved a Lego up their ass. Who hasn't? <laughs> Who hasn't? Who hasn't, bro? What the fuck, bro? What kind of people you're hanging? What kind of people are you hanging out with? Ones that haven't shoved Lego up their asses. <laughs> Normal people like me. You are the absolute uh, definition. Of whatever is the ap uh, fucking opposite of normal, man. You're talking to Matt, right? No, I'm talking to you. Why the fuck? You're weird all the time. It's very hypocritical. Let's see, you're probably more deranged than I am. The whole reason I, right. uh, I am mostly normal, I would like to say. Yeah. Toby, you sound like you're a 40 year, 40 year old man with no fucking hope for your future. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, that, that would be true. Uh, now, I've sent you all another photo. This time I've written in the print version above and in the written version below. Okay. You did not send a photo. I'll just give it a minute. Uh, I'm sending a photo. It is uploading. Yep. There we go. Okay, so what am I looking at exactly? Uh, the, uh, the above version, that is fucking written in big ass letters. That's the print version. And the one written below is the written version. Okay. Looks it just says, down. motherfucker, what are you doing here? Down. No, it looks upside down either way. What the fuck? It does not. Just hold it sideways. Hold it sideways. No. And uh, the see the fucking page. It says classmate on top. Yeah, I know. I know it's, which way it is. I'm just saying it looks upside down. The text looks upside down either way. It is not upside down. I assure you, it looks weird as fuck upside down. I don't know how the fuck anyone would write that in a coherent way. Right? See the written version. The written version is normal. Saying. No? I don't know your language either. I'm just saying, if I saw that out of context, I would assume that it is upside down. I don't know what it is. I don't know. Brain quirk. You know, anyways, Very my language looks, my, my language, even the print version looks hella better than fucking Hindi. Hindi is fucking shit ass fuck. You know how fucking dumb Hindi is? For example, if you want to say something and it has an R sound, you know, for example, if you're saying something with the P over the two dots and R, per, and you want to write it in Hindi, you'll write, just write PR. But if you want to say pr, just PR, like in Prodoljania, the Russian word, you'll write it P and an R on the top of the next fucking letter. It sounds fun fucking dumb as fuck. Hindi, Hindi has two sure sounds. Yeah, Hindi is fucking retarded as fuck. Learn my language, it's better. I don't my language is fucking cooler. You've done Hindi, obviously. Yeah, no, my language sounds cooler as well. For example, if you want to say shit like, uh, what are you doing here? You'll say, Tu yahan par kya kar raha hai in Hindi. That sounds fucking nerdy as fuck. In Punjabi, you'll say, Tu ite ki karna paint chode. Oh, no, paint chode is not necessary. That just means a stuff. Tu ite ki karna hoi. You know, it sounds fucking cooler in my language. Learn my fucking language, y'all. Hmm. Fucking replace Hindi with Punjabi. That's a movement you should start. Ah, uh, uh, Matt, listen to me. You remember the Gujarati? Yeah. I wanna. I want you to include 
every single one of them in the podcast and make it so <laughs> that those are more prominent than the others increase the volume for that part okay yeah i'll do that there's um, my hate for gujarati is something that i cannot express one of the main reason is you all know neon yeah yeah that motherfucker has ruined our indians image is that fucking bitch ass nigga kovli ass nigga make some think like we indians are fucking pussies I have never once in my life I met some pussy Indians of course but I've never met a single pussy as sick in my life <laughs> I've seen fuck I've seen a I've seen a nigga fucking get beat up by 11 guys in our school and fucking show up to school the very next day <laughs> he was like I don't give a fuck <laughs> you know I wouldn't blame him for ruining the image of Indians I I think that's uh your horny man on the internet I think they're they're <laughs> more responsible for that Have you seen him with girls? You know, I saw a clip of him, and there was some bitch twerking on him, and mother that motherfucker was dry humping him, fucking like going into <laughs> seizures or some shit. Basically, just fucking logged in on a single action. I was like, motherfucker, if I ever catch you, I'll damn a fucking tear you limb from limb. That motherfucker he misrepresented us Indians. He's a basic pussy, pussy ass nigga, fucking dumb ass fuck. Infuriates me to look at him. But first of all, he's a fucking Andrew Tate fan. That fucking annoys me. All Andrew Tate fans are fucking cringe. They should all fucking go kill themselves or some shit. Yep. You know. And you date ah uh, he's a fucking scam he's a fucking con artist I think it's uh whatever you may think of as whatever philosophy he's preaching I think it's hilarious that people take it as face value as that he's actually some kind of uh, fucking philosopher to be trusted in his ideals because everything he does is to promote his his pyramid scheme everything he does is just a con to get I know that but uh you know whatever he says he doesn't even have his stories right the hypocrisy you know and you pretend that one another lo- tall ass fuck motherfucker with him I don't know his weird name it's not his brother Tristan it's some Tate. other mo- motherfucker oh, no 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 not him Sneeko? it was it is some not him some it's some tall ass motherfucker buff ass fuck uh, with orange hair orange uh, what's his name J Waller J Waller J Waller yeah J Waller okay yeah <laughs> yeah They were both on a podcast with some OnlyFans girl, and the OnlyFans girl uh, girl asks them a question and fucking owns them in that question. She says, "You all tell us to be with a single man. You all tell us not to fuck around, but both of you do the same. You do mm-hmm. it much more than us. What differentiates you from us?" And they say, "We are wired different." Now, motherfucker, the moment you say that, you're fucking lost. I think that's kind of where he loses me as well. They say that you know women have a more emotional connection to sex, so it's it's more acceptable for a man to cheat and whatever. I think just Bro, I've, I've, it's not, it's, it's not, not, it's fucking not. You know, I've seen some fucking women who just uh, who just go out fucking fuck guys for no reason, and they say we are just doing it to explore our sexuality. We don't give a fuck about mm-hmm. the guy. There's no we emotional give, connection yeah. whatsoever. Yeah, I think just don't emotional be a connection. Whore. I, yeah, I don't see how how the fuck they can say that guys don't have emotional connections and sex. Mm-hmm. I've seen fucking guys get so fucking emotional for their bitches that I'm like, this motherfucker going die. Yeah. This rum and coke was too fucking strong, man. He made the shittiest fucking drink on planet Earth. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> dear West, can you tell me a bit uh, from an Indian pers- uh, perspective that hasn't been skewed by Western propaganda about the agori? What about the? Yeah, you can tell me about the agori, just in general. What the fuck are they about? What the fuck is that? Agori. What, what the fuck is an agori? You don't know? Is that a fucking? Is that a made up concept? Oh, agori, agori, agori. Yeah. Oh, what the? F- uh, we were saying shit like agori. What? What the fuck is that? It's agori. Uh, sure, you know, I, you know, I can't fucking pronounce your language. <laughs> It's not even fucking agori. It's agor, agor. Okay. It has an I at yeah. the end. <laughs> Get on this. Uh, now, that, that's the person. The sect is called Akor, uh, which means fearless. And when you call, when you meet a person who's a part of the sect, you'll say Akori. That's kind of like uh, when you meet a, a person. Uh, for example, my like, state is called Punjab, but a person from the state is called Akori. Punjabi. The E that means that. Maybe. Yeah. I. Okay, I got you. I got you. Anyways, uh, are they uh, the uh, uh, fucking horrifying cannibal? uh savages who you can't go near because they'll eat you uh they uh, i won't even fucking uh go deep into it because i'm not super knowledgeable about it it's, it ain't even that famous over here we've got bigger shit to worry about we don't give a fuck about them never even fucking heard someone mention them in my life yeah but that couldn't even happen here so it's kind of a wild concept for me so that's why i want to learn about it ah well they're not cannibalistic there are a certain number of them that are cannibalistic 
okay. most of them are fucking sanatani sanatani means that they're vegetarian that's what i've uh, what i've heard <laughs> okay <laughs> that's a fucking there's a bar joke right there vegan cannibal <laughs> what's it <into it>, yeah. <laughs> yeah and they're not vegan uh vegans uh, they're vegetarian cannibals <laughs> 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 not vegan bro correct that shit <laughs> you do realize the hilarity of that though that, that makes no fucking uh, i do like no but uh vegan. you know let me just clarify this let me just clarify this if they are cannibals then they are not true hindus if you want to become a true hindu saint then the sanatan tarm which is hinduism it dictates that you must not kill animals lord shiva dictates that you must not eat animals you must be a vegetarian mm. you know Uh, I'd like to put this out for you all as well. I've told it before. I'm not really a fucking sick, I guess. You're a sinful sick. I mean, I'm not even a fucking proper sick, you know. For example, uh, I could be considered a part of the sick religion, but I could not be considered a full-fledged sick because I'm not fucking ready to grow my hair out to get a turban. I'm not ready to fucking stop shaving and, uh, you know, stop shaving my dick. Uh, I'm not ready to fucking stop eating meat. I'm going to do all that. Do yeah. I ain't gonna stop. Do sick people wear deodorant? Uh, we can. I do. A lot of us don't. We are <laughs> fucking Indians. It's nasty. fucking sad. Yeah. You know, I fucking hate it. I fucking hate the hygiene thing about Indians. You know, a lot of the guys over here, they don't fucking take care of the hy- their hygiene fucking properly. My brother, even my brother doesn't. I fucking bathe once. I fucking bathe at least once daily. I fucking use deodorant. I fucking use cologne every single day, no matter the occasion. I fucking comb my hair every single fucking day. I shampoo every second day. What the fuck do you all want want me to do, motherfuckers? I even fucking shave. I don't have a mm. fucking uni, bro. What the fuck? That's the one stereotype that I hate the most. That we bathe in our own shit. I've never seen anyone fucking doing that. <laughs> I couldn't imagine not showering at least once a day or bathing or whatever. Bro, aren't you like white? Yeah, I thought um, that you all white. Um, yeah, bathe like once that. a month. Yeah. You know, I'd understand if you all don't bathe once a day because you live in a super fucking cold country and it's kind of understandable. But in India, if you don't bathe, don't bathe at least once a day, you're fucking fucked. You're going to smell like fucking rat ass. Yeah, it's so hot there. Of course, you're going to be sweating all day. Yeah, I would, uh, you know, uh, I just got a lot of money yesterday uh, since I had a party for my birthday. Uh, since it was, it was my 18th birthday, uh, the people who came there, they gave me a shit ton of money. I have something along the lines of 7.9k in a right now. Yeah, I should be graduating soon. That's when I'm going to be making bank. Did you guys know it's yeah. Elvis's birthday? I fucking hate Elvis. He was a pedophile. He married like a 30 year old. Who's Elvis? Elvis Presley, he's probably the most famous singer. Priscilla Presley wasn't there. Was, I don't fucking care. Elvis Presley is the most famous uh, fucking singer of all time worldwide. He's the king of rock. He created the entire genre of rock. I was not aware about. He's that. a pop culture. Oh, well, anyway, people dress up as him to for their weddings. They have fucking the pastor dressing up as Elvis for their weddings. I have. Thing. I like to think that I have enough contribution to the podcast. I've got a ball now. It's fucking ten o'clock over here, and oh my, my break God. ended an hour ago. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Anyway, right, bye, bye. I guess we'll end it here. Bye. Yeah. yeah. Elvis, right, right. Elvis fucking sucks. Elvis is going to hell. Um really great. Isn't he dead? Yeah, he's dead. He died like uh 30 years ago on the toilet. He was cheating and he died. Ah, uh, that makes sense. All right, bye. Okay, see ya. He actually died 50 years ago. He died 50 years ago. That's crazy. 1960. Anything else to discuss? A lot of things. What's going on in the world? Pull something interesting up. Uh, Jamie, pull up the video of the bear eating the other bear. Who the fuck is Jamie? And Jamie, uh, pull up the video of the taekwondo fighter eating the crocodile. Guy with sword versus 50 cops. <laughs> What the fuck? What the fuck? Excuse me. Uh... Terraria community is going through a phase where they're drawing all the characters as hot men or women. Okay, ter- the Terraria community is uh, is apparently going through a phase where they're drawing all the characters as hot men or women. What's your thoughts on that? I don't fucking know. It's disgusting. Yeah, I fuck with it. I fuck with it. That's cool in, in my books. What what else is going on in the world?
Did you say guy with sword versus 50 crocodiles? What the fuck cops. did you say? 50 Holy cops. Man. <laughs> oh my god, that's insane. That is a 11 hour standoff. I'm gonna check. 11 hours, it's going on right now. No, it was in 1997. <laughs> What's the fucking point then? What, <laughs> what are you bringing up now? What the fuck? <laughs> This is so fucking. Hold on. In this video, I tell you about a story of a Seattle street samurai, a man who stood ground against the entire Seattle police force for 11 hours <laughs> just by several large hours. Okay, but it happened in 97. <laughs> What's, That's the point? Point. What's the point of talking about now? It's been talked about now. I found that shit on YouTube. Yeah, that makes no sense. <laughs> Did you know I'm, uh... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! What? Uh, the, uh, fucking aliens in Miami or whatever. Yeah, the aliens in Miami. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, there were aliens in Miami, but there really weren't. It was a hoax. There was just, like, a bunch of cops and, like, uh, I don't know what the fuck... That's what the government wants you to think. There were definitely what... aliens in Miami. Uh, South Florida. Uh, what the fuck? It was... Caused by the brawl that broke out among a heavy group of juveniles, it was apparently a tree. There was no fucking UFOs, no ETs, no airports were closed, nothing happened. It the was fuck just... you and your liberal propaganda. There were aliens in Miami, and that's it. Okay, can we talk about uh, George W. Bush? What did he do? Everything, my guy. He did everything. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a fucking while. Why do you want to talk about him now? Bush. <laughs> Hold on. He's done nothing recently. You know what's happening recently? I'm beefing with a murderer. Oh, for real? Yeah, and a rapist. Who is that? We can talk about that. That is good content. Uh, his name is Raymond Weber. You want to look him up real quick? Just look up Raymond Weber. Ray I'm, I'm making a video about him soon. He, um, he hasn't interacted with me a whole lot, but we had uh, kind of a back and forth, and he started deleting some of my comments. A video showed Raymond Michael Weber rubbing his genitals against a minor girl's ass. Okay, I didn't even know about that. That's <laughs> fucking wild. He's done a lot of shit. He killed uh, two women on live stream. One of them was 15, and one of them was his 25-year-old fiance. He was human trafficking both of them, and he uh, killed and raped them on, on uh, Instagram Live. Yeah, there was a video of Michael Weber. <laughs> yeah, he, he's. Uh, Which I'm becoming incap incapable of actually talking. I don't know. What that's fine. Happened. But did you know? Um, his trial was postponed for a mental competence checkup, so he walks free after raping and murdering two women on live stream. And he's become an author of crime stories. He writes books now about himself. That's crazy. Why are yeah. you beefing with him? It's just a guy making food, man. What? He's making books. He's writing books about himself after he raped and murdered two women. He walked free, and now he's writing crime stories where he is the protagonist. I'm briefing with him because he, he's, you know, he's free. I'm, he's active on social media. I've started commenting on his posts, fucking trolling him, and he's deleting all my comments. He hasn't blocked me yet, but I'm kind of in a back and forth. Uh, I'm making a video about it. And it's it's coming out soon. What are yeah. you even doing? What are you looking up? I'm trying to look up really, really fucking shit. I'm trying to look up news. News. <laughs> There's no need to look up news. We're talking about Raymond Weber. Yeah, Raymond Weber. Uh, okay, so he raped two women and then killed both of them. Yep. And there is a video of him um, rubbing his dick against the younger girl's ass. Yep. And Pretty much. And he's an author now. Yeah, apparently yep. so. He yep. has published a book, although it hasn't really taken off. Yeah, it's called Chess Games. He's selling it for $15 on Amazon to pay for legal fees. I thought about getting Raymond on the podcast as a guest, but I don't really know if I want to give him a platform like that. Because uh, if we want to keep him for more than two minutes, then we have to sort of glaze him and suck his dick, even if we're actually trolling him. And I don't want to do that for one second, because he fucking disgusts me. Okay, apparently it has um, zero reviews. Yep. I tried to get his book taken off of Amazon, but Amazon was uh, it's was been not willing. It's purchased three times. Yep. Yeah, Amazon wasn't uh, willing to to uh, 
what is it? Uh, what the fuck? It cooperated with me. Chess games by Zeno Weber. Let's see. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, it's on Amazon. <laughs> He's such a bad fucking writer. The For synopsis is dog. ass. We should write a book. No, we shouldn't. Yeah. We have nothing interesting to say. We could write a sequel to Chess Games where <laughs> Raymond Weber dies a horrible death. <clears throat> and usually the... Oh! He changed the synopsis of the book. Holy shit. 21-year-old Sacramento native. Yeah, this was different. He changed the synopsis. I have to add this to the fucking video. Oh my god. Is this because of me? Because I've, I've, I've been taking action against the book, you know? I tried to get it taken off. Is that the back of the book? Hold on, show. Synopsis in the real world. Or... No, that's not even the old synopsis. He changed it here too. Oh my god. Hold on. This Rem- is actual horse shit. Uh, he changed the synopsis after I... <laughs> I probably got the book taken off then. And he put it back up. Let's see. Yeah, here's the old synopsis. It goes... Broke and barely knocking a few pounds of designer weed, you'd assume that Remy, a 21-year-old Sacramento native, was a, as harmless as a butterfly, all that. His mud brother, Angelo, who had the black... Yeah, this is, a, a, this is his actual story that happened, uh, but he just put it, put it in a book because he wanted to be the main character. He's completely changed it. Holy shit. So, Remy is probably active right now because this happened just a few hours ago. I checked this a few hours ago. It was still the same. I'm gonna, I'm gonna oh go. Oh my god, you need to contact Raymond Yeah, I'm, I'm right contacting away. him, I'm contacting him right now. There he is. You know who he's right, he's right there. Fuck it, I'm getting him on the podcast. Actually, there's, there's uh, surprisingly few sources on that. I'm not sure if he just killed them or if he raped and killed them. Some, some conflicting sources there, but we'll see. Maybe he'll he'll confess. <laughs> it would be fucking crazy if this podcast was used in court to <laughs> to charge him. They would play the whole podcast, and then they, well, at least we would get like visibility. Yeah, maybe fifty views. <laughs> that would be huge for us. <laughs> <laughs> that would be huge for us. Okay. I'm gonna try and get Raymond. I mean, should we just finish this episode? Yeah, let's finish it now. Yeah. Okay. Jesus fuck! It's cool. Yeah, it's really cold. Anyway, it's been a blast, guys. Uh, I, I hope to see you next time. Uh, <laughs> really nothing interesting to say, Toby. Um. Yeah, stay... I almost had a gay experience in the second grade. Okay, uh, stay racist, guys. Uh, see you next time.